If you just married a U.S. citizen, that means you are staying in the U.S. as a conditional permanent resident. And most of you may start focusing on filing form I-751, which is the petition to remove conditions on residence, two years later. Well, did you know that you can also consider applying for U.S. citizenship at this stage? Early as it may sound, a marriage-based green card holder has benefits when it comes to its waiting period to apply for a U.S. citizenship compared to other lawful permanent residents. Learn how this can be achieved in your position and track your form I-751 or N-400 with us. Now, who has a conditional permanent residence? If the marriage-based green card applicant and the main sponsor spouse have been married for less than two years, the marriage-based green card applicant will first receive a CR1 visa which is the conditional green card. Although the same rights and privileges are given, the CR1 visa holders, the conditional green card holders, must renew their conditional green cards to remove conditions on green cards by filing form I-751 and obtain a permanent green card. Filing form I-751, which is the petition to remove conditions on residents. It is essential that Form I-751 is filed timely. If Form I-751 is filed too early, USCIS will return the filing. If the form is filed too late, it will most likely fail to remove conditions on green card and may lead to removal proceedings. So, are you considering obtaining U.S. citizenship in the future? While most green cards, such as employment-based ones, are required to wait for five years before filing Form N-400, for a U.S. citizenship, people with marriage-based green cards are eligible to become U.S. citizens only after two years of being a permanent resident. Good news is, if you file Form I-751, which is the petition to remove conditions of residence, so as to transition to a permanent green card holder, that does not prevent you from proceeding to filing Form N-400 simultaneously. So even if one of the two applications is denied or requires more scrutiny, there is still a possibility of obtaining either a permanent resident card or becoming a U.S. citizen. So why not try, right? Now, how can you check the status of your I-751 or N-400 applications? It's super easy. All you need to do is download Lawfully Case Tracker app from the App Store or Google Play create your account, register your case number, and start tracking. Also, if you want to get more insights from a certain visa type, try Case Analysis Pro. And among other features, see your ranking compared to others who have registered their cases so that you get a sense of where you stand. And that was all for today, but don't forget to leave your comments below and see you next time!